Hey Jenny, how are you? <laughs> how are you going? I've just been starting this live stream with a view of the beautiful bay. <laughs> morning Jenny, morning. Because I am on my morning walk or run. <laughs> Maybe I'm saying morning walk because there's been more walking than running today. But I have run. Gorgeous view. I thank you. Yes, it is. Oh, I'll go that this is the gorgeous view. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been on my morning run. Um, I'm probably like a third of the way into it. And I thought, hang on, I'm going to stop here because I'm a bit more tired than normal. Um, and that's probably because I haven't run for a few mornings because it was Eka, sick kids, two kids home yesterday. Um, and all that type of life stuff that happens but as soon as the opportunity arises then I get started again and I think that flexibility has really helped me to um, you know work on my health and fitness consistently rather than being very black and white and giving up which is what I did a couple of years ago um, yes so this morning when I did wake up I woke up with an immense headache um, I actually think that I wasn't lying in the right position on my pillow because it was like in my neck was so so sore when I just woke up and then when I sat up to go make some coffee it felt like my brain was vibrating inside my skull and as I was walking it felt like somebody had it in a bloody vice grip it was awful hey Salema thanks for for hopping on um, it was such pain and I told my husband, geez, my head is so, so sore, but nothing stops me from making my morning coffee. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, the kids are home again today because it was the Echo Show holiday on Monday for our local area, our official public holiday. But our school has decided, no, the kids can stay home today as well. So they have a pupil free day. Um, I will not be taking them to the Eka for a second day, that's just plain crazy. And I thought, um, you know, I have to get some work done. Um, I've got a big headache. I'm gonna have three kids at home and probably the third, uh, a fourth one um, that's just down the street that normally comes and spend the day with us as well, playing with my boys. So I go, okay, I need to fix this headache. But um, I knew that I have a choice. I didn't feel like going for a run. And I thought, well, that's going to mean that you're probably going to have to dose yourself the whole day with Panadols um, and have a lie down to get, get it out of your system. Or you can go for a run. So I went for a run. And guess what? The, headaches is, the headache is gone. And I'm like uh, probably between a third and halfway into my run, depending on what route I take home um, from home. And my headache is gone and it's just amazing the first part was really tough but i start off with a walk and you start um to you know start breathing better bigger because i get out of breath pretty quickly because there's a lot of hills here even if i'm just walking and the thing is and again i'm generalizing here when it comes to headaches and stuff and the thing is you need to know yourself very well when you make these type of decisions and if you engage in a sufficient amount of self-care of self-awareness about your body and how you cope with life in general with stress um you know or maybe you've just had a really tough week or you know you're an introvert and you had to do a lot of public speaking and stuff you need to know yourself and and that just comes from being mindful and being self-aware and that's how you make these decisions whether you go to the doctor whether you spend the day in bed or whether you go for a run like i did um because what i know um the little i know about headaches and stuff i'm definitely not an expert on it is that as a general rule when you have headaches the blood vessels in your brain is very constricted okay that causes the pain and when you go for a run it actually opens up the blood vessels and the opening up of the blood vessels relieves the pain I once read a um, journal article on um, it, but it was a certain type of headache. I can't remember which one it was. And they said that the best thing you can do when you have those type of headaches is to run for 100 meters as fast as you can. It will fix it. And I'm going, I've never been game to do that. Okay, because that's just plain self-torture. But I can start with a brisk walk going uphill and I can do it gradually and it bloody well works. Let me just see the... 
Um, <laughs> hey Valerie, Valerie's hopped on. Valerie said I need to send you a fave hot bath product to soak in, takes care of all my aches and pains. Yes, please, thank you. I often find with the blood circulating from Orion, a lot gets fixed. It is so true. And it's so hard to get yourself to just start the run. But if you can just go, I'm not making this decision whether I run or um, you know, stay in bed based on how I'm feeling right now, but wanting to base that decision on how I'm gonna feel when I'm finished, right? Uh, Valerie said, body awareness, yes, 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 so much yes. I absolutely believe in this. Oh, getting lots of ticks from the burnout specialist here. Valerie says, you know, you're speaking my language now and getting me very excited. <laughs> well, I, I, I learned about burnout from the best in the business, Valerie. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> yes, so uh, that is uh, my bird of motivation for you today. Just because you wake up and you feel crappy in your body doesn't mean that the rest of the day has to be like that. There is stuff that you can do about it. It might be tough, but if you invest that 40 minutes, for me, it's probably going to be an hour today because I've taken this time to, um, to speak with you. Normally, my run is between 40 and 45 minutes. If you just take that little hour out of your day to look after you, you're going to get all the rest of the day back to do stuff and I'm so excited. I'm speaking to somebody at one o'clock. Um, I wanna do up my book funnel with the lovely Abby when I get back. I've got so much things that I wanna do and I'm so excited about it. And by the way, Valerie, I left you a Voxer. So if you can have a listen to that, that would be awesome. That's that little, little sneaky project that we are working on that we're also excited about. Hey Daniel, thanks for hopping on. But I am about to go, so I'm gonna leave you guys with my view right here. Uh, the water is right there at the back. I'm going to run home now and start my day. Thanks for joining me live and remember all you need to do is say yes to your very own ultimate level five private practice. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.